world's climate is under assault. With each year, the impacts are increasing. We know that buildings and their operations, including homes and offices and the electricity that goes into them, together induce nearly 50% of carbon emissions responsible for global climate change. We know now that green buildings could amount for 25% or more of the total solution to human-caused global warming. Hi, I'm Jerry Udelson, and I'd like to tell you about an important new book. It's called The World's Greenest Buildings, and it points the way toward a more sustainable future. Green buildings are an important solution, but the problem is that we still don't know much about their performance, because much of the information is not publicly available. And in the end, only performance counts, not good intentions. For two years, Ulf Meyer and I researched green buildings from all over the world, large buildings that were the highest rated in their own rating systems. And we found out how much energy and water they actually consumed. All of our research is in this book, 55 case studies from 18 countries, all over North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Because in our view, if it doesn't perform, it can't be a green building. We think you'd agree. If you have anything to do with buildings, or even remotely curious about how we can reduce carbon emissions, probably the most important book you could buy this year is The World's Greenest Buildings.